Okay, for those of you with a busted Toro um, safety interlock module with a Tecumseh engine, this is the equivalent circuit if you wanted to build a module of your own. Um, it's three resistors, capacitor, and then the secret sauce is the silicon controlled rectifier, SCR. And the concept here, when your switches are um, in the proper run, so your ignition switch is on, and if your auger's engaged or the traction's on, you have the handlebar switch um, depressed, then power is going to flow through here and will not go down and energize this SCR. So you keep maintain current flowing through here. Um, and, you, and you retain a potential there. That's key. This 20 kilo ohm resistor is key for that. Um, if you open, so this your switch opens up on the handlebar, say you engage the auger, and you forget to depress the handlebar switch, you end up with an, um, this is a, an equivalent circuit. There's a, a few conditions that need to be met up there. It's a switch circuit. Um, current will not flow through here. Current's going to flow down through R2 and energize this SCR gate and essentially ground the ignition. So that means um, that will kill the engine. So these two basically represent the two wires going up to the switch circuit. This is this would be the case normally of the of the um, of the interlock module, and then this is the red wire. All right, gonna test our homemade interlock circuit here. This is the. Let's see if we got the GoPro down far enough. Okay. So this is the sil this is the original silicon control rectifier that I pulled out of the burned up unit, supposedly. This is a new one I bought off Moser. This will be the um, power coming from the ignition. It would take this place to this one here. And then this node here will be grounded. So let's see which one when this is off. It's grounded in a case. Continuity. Okay, so the top one's grounded in the case, so that's gonna be our switch ground. Okay, top wire is the ground. Okay, and then this would be the, it's essentially a three terminal because this needs to connect to the ground of the machine. So let's just connect it right to the case like it is on the interlock module. And then the last connection is the interlock wire. Which is here. Power coming from the coil. And when the conditions are wrong, it goes straight to ground and prevents the prevents it from firing. Okay, so let's switch bottom part of the switch circuit okay and they look like they're isolated let's check just to be sure okay and they're isolated all right check spark 
your spark tester. Here's my trusty spark tester. Kill this headlamp. Okay, no spark when this is off. Good. Now let me turn this on. Let's see if we have spark. Augers off in neutral. Good spark. Look at that. Good. All right. Let's see if she fires off. It's like 40 degrees out, so it's going to be really rich. Um. Yeah. Try it without choke. It's gonna run like crap, but that's okay. 